digital version of Intentional Talk. It's Millar and Rose. We are back with you for the first time in about a month. And my, how things have changed. We understand the sensitivity of everything that's going on. Uh, you've got a lot of people that are staying at home. We're doing that in California. Kevin's joining us from Arizona. But hopefully we can provide a little levity, uh, some laughs, some great guests over the next few weeks, whatever it takes to, to get things going around here. And first of all, I just want to say hi to my good friend, Kevin Millar. Where the heck are you, buddy? God, it's great to see you. And I love with your facial your hair you're doing there, Chris. So you've defined the gravity of your hair particles coming out. But I am in Scottsdale, Arizona, Chrissy. Uh, you know, obviously we're all quarantined up and uh, Scottsdale's a little different. Probably the last of the Mohegans as far as weather stayed around the 80s. I've got the kids here. Uh, we chose to stay here so far because Austin, Texas, you know, it is what it is like everywhere else. All right. Um, that place looks ridiculous. How, how big is it? And give us a quick tour. It's just about 12,000 square feet. It's like the Marriott. So as you can see there, we're going to pan the, the pool. Let me know if you get to the golf course. I mean, sorry, the tennis courts, yeah. where, is where Kylie hangs out. There's the cooking service, which is where you would hang out. I'm just going to do a 360. It's like a virtual right. tour, a uh -huh. 360 virtual tour. Jacuzzi's back far right there. You have real grass, and then we're back to the waterfall. So, Chris... And then, by the way, wolf of balls, paddle ball, uh, you're locked up. And, and and you guys, you know, I laugh. You guys can play with the two kids. Remember, <laughs> Uncle Kevin's got four, yeah. so you got to have something spacious. Yeah, but listen, you, you, you've been prepared for this moment. I mean, you guys homeschooled, so you got the education part down, Pat. Like, how do we keep kids entertained? There's a lot of people that are struggling with that, and we understand it, and it's no joke. You guys have really figured it out. But my question is, I saw those little lounge chairs. Is it like when I stay at a ritzy hotel? Do you have to get down there at 7 a.m. to reserve a chair? <laughs> yes, because we are with another family friend of ours, the Burks. And I will tell you this, there's 10 of us. And we are staying together. And we are hiking together. And we are sniffing out the golf course together, the ones that are open. But I do have an extra chair for you. Actually, you know what I have for you, Chris? What? To be quite honest with you, it's the bull. I bought that bowl. Let me know if you can see that. Can you see that in the, in the pool floating? Yeah, I see it. That's the tough. That's the toughest thing to stay on from the diving board of that. We are still over 38. So, Chris, I have the baby bowl for you when you want to make your trip down here. I don't know if your Tesla or whatever that electric car you drive will make it this far. Yeah. So you might need to take a fueled, maybe Michelle's Mercedes or uh, don't you guys have a limousine still? Yeah, we do. We do. But we had to send our driver yeah. away because of the whole thing that is stay at home. Uh, real quickly, the only thing I can give you a tour of, because this is obviously my regular office that you see every day on Intentional Talk, is my beard. So this is the first time I've decided to grow it out. It's now been a week. So good. Give me, give me your opinion on it. I'm going to tell you right now, the thing I like about your beard, you're going to be gray and patchy black hairs, just like all of us that get close to 50. But Chris, you, you're feeling great. Mm -hmm. I would tell you this. If you can do this for tomorrow's show, will you go buy some mascara, waterproof, and yeah. just take the patchy spot? No, no. Just don't, don't give me a head. Don't, don't, don't do like my kids do. <laughs> Hear me out. Take the patchy spots of the waterproof and just fill it in and then take an old toothbrush that you're not going to use anymore, mm -hmm. and then you'll even out. I would love to see you with a fully – mascara beard so I can define the line and the jawline that you have such a nice face. Okay. Yeah. Cause I have been shaving the neck beard part of it and trying to give it a little bit more definition. So. Yeah. Jawline yeah. right underneath their jawline. You can even creep another inch so you can hide the gobbler. That's really why we wear a facial hair because this, this creeps. I don't know. You know, you, you can, you can be gay Kapler all you want and, and spit out the chocolate bite, but you're going to eventually get this. So that's right. what the beard hides Chris so I appreciate that yeah no I don't know what you're talking about I don't have any problem with extra chins or anything so I, don't, I have no idea <laughs> yeah I think yeah that's right. you're four percent right so <laughs> you know for us in California it's been a little different not all of us live in a 12,000 square foot mansion with with the, you know a bull floating in the pool and all that sort of stuff so we've been taking yeah. a long yeah. walk I will tell you this yesterday both boys were like dad you work out a lot you're on a program Josh came out and, you know, he's 6'5", 165 pounds dripping wet. He's this skinny guy. He's like, I want to add muscle. I want you to put me through the rigors. And sure enough, uh, it was brutal. He, <laughs> I got to show you this. 
I got to show you this photo of him. He, uh, <laughs> this is him from yesterday at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. He was, I love it. He was dog tired. <laughs> and uh, here's Brady doing his little weights. So, yeah, the boys are kind of doing hey, things. Can mm -hmm. I say something? The one thing about this, okay, and I will say this to everybody, and I, and I truly mean this. You know, sometimes we don't know why things happen. Seriously, we have an invisible virus that everybody you, you come in contact, you feel it has that. We're quarantined up. You can only go get medicine and stuff like that. But it, it brings families closer, Chris. And I will tell you this. We are so busy with work. We are so busy with everything. Maybe this is a way to shut down. And you know what? Everybody stay inside. But enjoy your family time. And I know it's miserable at times. I know the homeschooling doesn't make sense. I've gotten a lot of calls about Gina, what she's done the last five years of homeschooling. But I will tell you this, the workouts, the games, the fun stuff that you can make up, enjoy it. There's going to be stress times. There's going to be screaming babies. But look at it as a way to reconnect with everybody and your family, your immediate family and your kids and the relationships and devices. Stick them out. Sometimes turn off the TVs other than sports and MLB Network and stuff. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm with you. I'm with you. With all that being said, I think it's a great point. <clears throat> How many times has Gina wanted to run for the hills because of you over the last week or 10 days? I'll, I'll tell you this. When you're in a mansion like we are, and these are rentals, let's get that straight. I, mean, I just want to get that real clear. I, I don't know how long I can keep renting. I was going to see if maybe I can write this off. Like, you've been writing off toothbrushes for years from the network. I was going to call the network see if we can write this off, Chris, and see, you know what, I'm quarantined. <laughs> but there are times we have to take hikes. Hikes clear the mind. Yes. Yes. She's wanting to run for the hills. I was like, Gina, come back, Kenny. So, appreciate the copy, sweetheart. Daddy loves you. Oh, is, is Gina back there? She was. Gina? Any of my kids? Kiss! Nope. Just give us a wave to the. She's going to wave. Just peek out and just give a quick wave. Oh, uh, there she you is. You love her. her. Hi, Gina. Hi. Uh, she oh. says, uh, he says hi. Thank you. Wait, Karis wants to say hi, though, Chris. Is that all right? Absolutely. She's really, really want to say hi. Karis, come out here, please. What's up, Superstar? How are you, honey? She, hey, come down. She said, what's up, Superstar? How are you? Good. He, yeah. Say hi. Hi. Oh, yeah, she can't hear. I got the earbuds in. But that's Karis Grace. Thank you. Daddy loves you. Yeah. Be good. Go do your math homework. Yeah, I'm sure that'll get done sometime in the next three or four months. <laughs> Um, all right, so here's what we're going to do. You'll, you'll see us. I think we're, we're scheduled to come on Thursday and Friday as well. Um, we're going to start having guests on. And, and I think this could be kind of yes. fun because, you know, with our show, our hallmark over the 10 seasons that we've done this is hopefully kind of peel back the onion and, and expose a little bit more of the baseball player and the human being behind that guy. So um, now we're yeah. going to get a chance to get into their homes and see how they're living and what they're doing and hopefully meet their families. So we want you guys to tweet us at Intentional Talk. Let us know who you'd like us to talk to. Give us some names. Shoot, you know, shoot for the stars. Let's go for it. We'll ask them. I mean, what else are they doing? You know, they're not going out and working no. out, and, you know, swinging in the cages and all that sort of stuff. But I, I am curious about one thing, Kevin. Uh, I've talked yeah, to a bunch do. of guys – hitters in particular who haven't picked up a bat in like since they were told to go home like how tough is that going to be for them to get back into the swing of things literally yeah yeah I, listen when this thing does end and when we do get back they're going to need the time i mean this is the way it is I and mean, when we see spring trains for a reason it's a four to six week situation obviously the pitchers need about six to eight weeks for the pfp situation because they're not great athletes chris but for hitters yeah they're, they're hitting they're, they're in their cages, everybody now. And that's why I think having these players on, let's check out their houses. Let's check out their, their scenes right now. Are they renting mansions? I don't know. They live in mansions, Chris. Listen, we'll be here every day for entertainment. And here's what our uh, promo department came up. They spent the whole budget on this. On Thursday's show, a tour <laughs> of the Millar Mansion. I don't know yes. This, yes. Does this read backwards on your screen? It kind of does on mine. Hopefully it doesn't on yours. So you'll give us no, a it's a tour of Millar's Mansion. Okay, so that's what's coming up on Thursday's show. Plus, hopefully we'll have a guest. Thanks so much for tuning in to today's edition of Intentional Talk. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your family. Wash your Check hands. in on friends as well. And we will see you again tomorrow. Kevy, tell that bull in the pool I'm coming for it.